So we have good news. The moral of the story from the research that we've been doing with this long-term monitoring network is that lakes are accelerating in the rate at which they're recovering from acid rain. But that research is ongoing. The effects of climate change are going to be important here too, and that's where our work is continuing to go. In the 70s and 80s, we started to get concerned because the acidity of these systems was really high, and so the pH was really low. And that's a problem for all the organisms that are living in these lake systems, in particular fish. And so when those started to decline, people got worried. And we started to try to wonder what's causing this, how is this happening, and how can we improve the condition of these systems. And that led to some of the amendments in 1990 that then reduce the emission of sulfur and nitrogen into the atmosphere. In the northeastern United States especially, because that's where we saw some of the greatest effects of acid rain, this is an example where we're able to see a change in policy result in a change in the condition of environmental systems. And not only that, but that recovery is continuing. So it's happening continuously and that it's only accelerating into this last decade. And so that's good news. What that means for the communities is that that acidity problem is improving. And so hopefully that's improving the fisheries. And that means everything from the recreational fishermen to the fisherman who goes out to put fish on the table to industry that relies on folks coming into the systems like the Adirondack or traveling to Maine, for example, to do some fishing. All of that is live and thriving. If the systems are thriving, hopefully that industry surrounding it can also be thriving.